Yo, what is going on guys? It is Chris on the Sticks, and we are back with this old intro that I've done like a long ass time ago, just because I felt like it. But um, today, I'm going to be talking about the 2.4 update that Bungie released for Destiny, and specifically, I'm going to be zeroing in on the sniper changes that were made. There were some really good changes to it, and then some not so ideal changes to it that I want to talk about and try to shed some light on why this actually went through. Um, a lot of people are saying that the changes to sniper rifles were targeted to make uh, to punish skilled snipers, um, but I don't think that's the case. So, in the 2.4 update, the main changes to sniper rifles were that they added more flinch and the more you get shot, the more flinch you get. So that really discourages people sitting in the back of the map or people just like hard scoping. Um, if you get shot by a primary, you're more likely to be able to uh, challenge a snipe rifle. So this is a good change. Um, the other change that is uh, can be taken two different ways um, is the change to mid high impact sniper rifles this is the thousand yard stare the longbow synthesis and the ldr the change to these sniper rifles is that they had their damage reduced so that they can no longer snipe people out of their supers and a lot of people are reading this as no sniper rifles can snipe people out of their supers anymore and this is not the case they're also saying that no snipers can res snipe this is also not the case. Um, back in, I want to say, the April update, they changed snipers, they changed the res shield so that snipers that are, like, lower impact, so, like, the the key one that I can think of right now is the No Land Beyond. It does 250 headshot. That is able to res snipe. So, that saying that these snipers are no longer able to rest snipe. That's not the case. Um, the only change that was made to sniper damage is to the mid-high impact sniper rifles. That's the first thing. The second thing is that people are reading this as no sniper rifles are able to snipe people out of their supers. And it's not the case. In the patch notes, they said that the only snipers that can snipe people out of their supers are the highest impact tier. This is your year one effort eat spear and your year one black hammer, year two black spindle. These are the snipers that can snipe people out of their supers. Now the obvious reason why people think that no snipers can do this anymore is because people don't use these snipers. The fact that there's only one sniper rifle in year two that has that highest impact stat and it is exotic it's really there's very low availability of these sniper rifles to res snipe um and i think this because this is the pre rise of iron uh pre rise of iron patch i think they did this to prepare for rise of iron i believe that they are going to be um rotating in new sniper rifles for people to use uh, so people can have you know different things to use so they don't stick to you know what they've been using for two years essentially with the longbow and the LDR um, you know and as if you think about it really in uh, in year two when the Taken King came out the only sniper rifle that was the mid-high impact uh, that was available was the uh, thousand yard stare. Now the Irene was also available, but the problem was no one really used it because it didn't have as much aim assist as the thousand yard did, um, and it also was kind of taboo because it had luck in the chamber, which was able to proc on body shots. Quick note about this: because of the change to luck in the chamber only working on headshots. If you were to get a Luck in the Chamber headshot right now with an Irene with somebody who has their super, despite how random it is and how unlikely it is to happen, you basically have a 1 in 4 chance to kill that person if Luck in the Chamber procs. 
which is actually pretty funny now that I think about it, but, you know, it's not consistent. So that's where the highest tier of impact sniper rifles, I feel, are going to come into their own in Rise of Iron. So this is really... This is really something that I wanted to talk about because I'm hearing a lot of misinformation. Um, and I think that, you know, you, if you think about it this way, um, before before this patch, there was no reason to use, uh, like, the Black Spindle, that archetype of sniper rifle, despite the fact that there was only one for year two. There was no reason to use it because... The the middle high impact sniper rifles could do the same thing that those could do, but faster, um, and they're much more available. So, I think this is just them changing the meta. I know people don't really like that, but this is them allowing different snipers to be uh, to get a chance to shine in uh, the new meta, and also it's allowing for the lower tier. Uh, impact snipe rifles to kind of be like have a reason to use like if you're not going to use the highest impact snipe rifle to snipe people out of their supers now you can use like the slower rate of fire or the high the faster rate of fire snipe rifles but lower impact because it's not really going to matter anymore and they can still rest snipe so this is really why they made the change to snipe rifles um the middle high impact snipe rifles so uh just think just think about it this way in rise of iron we'll probably see some new sniper rifles that are going to become like viable or quote unquote the meta and you know they're trying to make people change up their play style and play with new things so i hope this cleared up some of the confusion i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like um comment below on your thoughts about this and feel free to subscribe if you want but as always this is chris and i'll see you later